In episode 22 of Enigmatica 6 Expert, we make pneumatic craft machines and processors to craft the assembly table parts. We then show you how to place these and how to use the assembly table for crafting. There's also an important message about Clockwork B's comb processing. I hope you enjoy the episode. Let's get it on. Right, so where do we go from here? So we need to go down this tree to get the assembly table set up. So let's follow the quests, because we might get useful things along the way. Now you never know what's in these epic loot bags. So the Amadron tablet is next. Uh, like I said, this was a fairly easy recipe that it looked like. But one thing we do need to charge up the Amadron tablet is the charging station. If it's still a thing, that. So that's the charging station and now we need the Amadron tablet. And there we have it. Get a block of emerald for our troubles. So we now need a PCB blueprint which is um, eight emeralds. <laughs> Hence the block of nine that we've just got. Uh, one thing we are going to have to do is make another tank. Now we're going to have to make another tank. If we're going to retrieve any or receive any liquids from our Amadron tablet. I've got a chest there. I'll show you how this works. So it has to be done outside. Or at least somewhere with access to the sky. The drone to come. Uh, we're going to pop it down just here. So pop your chest down, pop your tank down, and then take the Amadron tablet and shift right click both. So that is now going to receive items that will receive any liquids that we request. First thing we have to do is charge this up or put a little bit of charge in it. Um, let's just plonk it on the end of there. Now this equalises the pressure that's in the system. Once equalised, so if we look there, it's at 3.94. You cannot charge the Amadron tablet higher than 3.94. It can only go on equal pressure that's in the system. So we're at 4.1 bar. It's not going to go much higher than that because our system is at, well, it's, it's less than that now. So it shouldn't really go any higher than that. Yeah, can't be charged because the pressures have equalised, but that's fine. So what you do with the Amadron tablet, I keep wanting to call it Amazon. The, the Amadron tablet is you just right click. OK, and from here you can purchase any of these items which are in here. Although some items say unavailable at this time, I'm not quite sure what that's about, whether it's a pack feature or, or whether it's a feature with the um, with the mod. One thing you want to do is put your emeralds into there and you can see now we can buy this if we if we wanted to. Um, I forgot what we need to buy. It was that blueprint wasn't it? That one. So if you click it, I oh know, um, is it right click? Yeah, right click says that orders in basket one and then place order. What will happen is the drone will come, it will take away the emeralds, and it should come back with our PCB. And then we have our PCB blueprint. And we can click this, and that looks like speed upgrades. Thought we completed another quest then, it was just advancements. So our next task is to create the UV light box and you see there it's got a PCB blueprint in. And I'm just going to have a quick look and see what else is in here. So we are going to need the drill program at a certain point. What are these survey tools? Okay. 
Um, these are something which is scripted in, as you can see, it says uh, CubeJS. So they, that's a pack feature. I'm not quite sure what they do. I shall have to find out. Um, we are going to need that possibly as well. Uh, what's this? So you can get crude oil. Okay. Uh, I'm not quite sure we'd need any of these other things. Lubricant, that might be useful. Oh, some some of them are limited as well. Okay. Right, so let's go and create our UV light. If you put one of the items in here, just do as it says in the chat that was just there a second ago. Hold Alt and click Request, and it will pull in the rest. There's our UV light. Epic Loot Box gave us four volume upgrades. And that looks like a big list. And four blocks of compressed iron. Next on the quest line is an etching tank. This is pretty straightforward. And there was something else. A bucket of etching acid. So our etching acid is made in the pressure chamber with spider eye rotten flesh gunpowder and a button a bucket of molten plastic so that's two of each right so pressure chamber so items in we're going to put our uh, bucket and the three things there and we need to give this a little bit of power Oh, it was full anyway, wasn't it? There we have our bush bit of etching acid, and we can collect this quest. It gave us two more advanced PCBs, and it looks like the same quest rewards as the last one. We got another four volume upgrades. So next on the list is our empty PCD, empty PCB. So our Xnet has a little bit of power left, so let's just drop that in there. And you can see the pressure drop just by 0.02 bar every time something goes in. Well, in that case it was 0.4. But that's because it let it out. So there's our empty PCBs, so we can collect that quest. That gave us two more speed upgrades and four more volume upgrades. Right, okay, so that's worth noting here. So it can simultaneously process as many as 25 empty PCBs. 
The acid is only consumed if heat is applied while etching the board, so you don't need the heat, but doing so significantly speeds up the etching process. However, a single bucket will last for many PCBs. Mm. So it could be worth doing. Um, where should we put this? But I'm not going to. I'm just going to leave them. Put it just here. So we can put our bucket of etching acid in. So we need to put them under the UV light. This does need a security upgrade because it will blow the pipes if it doesn't have one. Although we should never actually go above 5 bar in our system, but you never know. And there's our first one, so I'll pop the second one in there, that can be going on. And we'll try this now in our etching acid. See how long that's going to take. That's not too bad. It's not too bad to say it's using no heat and no... Well, no heat. And it's not going to use the etching acid up. At a later date we might attach heat to this. But we've still got the problem of, you know, keeping a, a vortex tube going with these liquid compressors so that can be doing that one one thing i do need to check on is the clockwork b see how he's getting on oh quite nicely right okay so let's take a stack of these and i will show you how these work if you put the combs in nothing will happen. If you put then the bottles in, nothing will happen. Now, the if you, if you look here, it does require just glass bottles and honeycombs, but any centrifuge recipe that requires a glass bottle that it's not honey, now it's important to remember, not honey, you have to put the bottles in first and then put the combs in, and now it should progress. So you have to remember that. Bottles first, then the combs. Uh, does this create honey? No, it doesn't. No, of course it doesn't. It's builder's tea. So we've got a build, builder's tea. Uh, I didn't know what the percentage chance were. So 40% for Anderson alloy, 10% for cogwheels. That's not too bad. Uh, what was the percentage for tea? So we should get as many cog wheels as we get builder's tea, if that's accurate. I haven't got any cog wheels. So I'll leave those processing. I'll come back to those later and see how they've got on. So that's almost done. Yeah, I really don't see the point in using heat for this, because that's took next to no time at all. And done. And that should complete the next quest. Oh, we get free transistors and capacitors. So now we need to make the printed circuit board, which is the capacitors and transistors we've just been given. Uh, we also need lead wire and this basic processor from refined storage. I've not looked at this. So this is multi-servo press. We can we can. We've already got one of those. Numismatic die. That's easy enough. So how do we create this? So Fluix dust, tin coin, silicon. We've got processor binding from our B. Silicon is usually yeah, nether quartz furnished. Tin coin is usually in the multi-servo press with the same die. Either you can create three with an ingot or three nuggets to create a single so we can do all that that is not a problem let's just see how far this has got that's not far off done mm, 
no power left so we'll just throw a coal in there and then those in there like that So we throw those back in the multi-servo press to get these processor bindings, uh, to get the process, basic processes. And then we throw those, oh we need some lead wire, we throw those in the pressure chamber to get our printed circuit board. I think I just heard them pop, yep. Yeah. So while they're working, let's go and check on our clockwork Combs. See what goodies we got from those. They're still processing, there's 10 left. That's not bad at all. Considering it's all free, well, apart from using the very small amount of RF needed to uh, process the combs. So I'll take those stack. In fact, I'll just send them up via that chest. Builder's T is okay, but I mean, I've got loads of it now. That, you only used a few bottles, so we'll throw another stack in. Oh, tell you what we can do is put some in here and then all the rest will come in now from, from this. These will now get transferred into that storage drawer and will not get processed automatically by the system. So that's cool. All right, we can leave that running. We'll go and pick our basic processors up now. We only really need one to, to get the quest done, but they're all done, so... Right, so it's uh, one of each, apart from these two which we were given. So one of those, one of those, and that. So basically everything like that. Let's have a look. This should be done. Could put the last one in there, and then that one can go into there to be etched. And that's our printer circuit board. So we can collect the epic loot box. We got four blocks of compressed iron. And another two advanced PCBs. We already had those in our inventory. Yep, that's that was it. So our last quest down this tree was to create the assembly table, which is this is what we've been working towards all along. We do need some other things. Uh, we will need the items that are in the next quest which this is the drill and laser program so we will need that you can get that from the amadron tablet for 14 emeralds um, it does have a crafting recipe but these two again are from the amadron tablet so there's no point doing that whatsoever unless you'd got them previously for, from I don't know maybe there are quest reward in one of the loot crates but I don't think there will be so we'll need that and then we can get to the advanced liquid compressors which I'm not sure we're going to need uh, we'll see how we get on what, what we do need is the assembly system so we need all these so that's drill and laser so you right click it to select one and then place the order. Right, 
And there it is. That quest will complete when we have done the one before it, which is creating these. Right, you see there, there is an import and an export assembly I.O. unit. You literally take the export and craft it to create the import, uh, or vice versa. So these are all crafted on the create mechanical crafting, and that sounds to me like I'm in trouble. Let's go and sleep. Not that they do much damage, but there's no point losing my armour to them. Right, so our first recipe is I'm going to do the assembly platform first so um, hang on, let's just work this out so if the minimum we need is 10 and we have 5 10 15 18 21 so we need 11 of these That should be sufficient to blank them out. So let's try this again. Can we blank out the ones like this? Let's try it. Try it. I mean, what's the worst that can happen? Nothing. Um... Yeah, that's it. So, plastic, plastic, compressed, compressed, cylinders, right, so does that need to be covered? There's no way out though if it does. It might just pop out actually. Oh, it still goes over the top of the covers. Yep, that's fine. Okay, no problem. And I'm hoping uh, we can just, can we just pop these off? Yeah, shift right click, or just right click, don't need to shift. Okay, so that's that one done. I think we need other things for, yeah, we need uh, pneumatic dynamos for that one, that one. That one, that one, and that one. So we need five pneumatic dynamos. Um, I've done the parts for the assembly control. I was going to go in order, but for some reason I've made these. So this is a three, four, two, four. So three, four, not that way. We want three, four. So three, four, two this side, four that side. Three, four. No, hang on, what are we doing? Don't have four on the bottom. So three, four, two, four. We're gonna have to do it from the top. Three. Four. Two, four. Right then, so three pipes. Uh, two pipes down the side. Engine there. That goes there. They go there. And then the slabs go there, there, and there. Does that work? Yep, and then we have our assembly controller to go along with our assembly platform. Alright, so we've now two IOs. I think 
think I'm... Oh, I just need the hand for this. So this one is three... For that side. Then two this side. And then for that side. Okay, so this is pipes, 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 across the top, oops, uh, two down the side there, we've got the slabs there, there and there, with the engine in there, and we have three of these, and a pointy hand here. Yeah, this is the same as the first recipe. I should have done that one after this one. So we've got the export one. This one should be the import. Oh, we can just craft it actually like that. That makes the import. Right, and we need... Um, wow. Oh, I need to connect it up to the pressure, but... Does it need heat as well? Required temperature 500 degrees. Oh, are you kidding me? What? Oh, bog off. Stupid things. Five hundred. How the hell do we get five hundred degrees? And what's that? Four and a half to five bar. Yeah. No, oh, a bit further on, we're at almost four bar pressure. Uh, these two are still working. I'm, I'm manually changing these blocks because they're, they're basically turning almost straight away. Um, we're up to 420 degrees, so we're almost there. Th changing this block for a magma block will increase it more. But we need the pressure between four and a half and five just to do this and I haven't connected it yet oh our temperature's plummeted why is our temperature plummeted is it because I've made this work does it go back up now yes right leave the refinery alone Yeah, the, the refinery, I took the kerosene out, so it processed a bit more, but that's taken our temperature away. So it should climb back up now. now this is going up way too slow. Yep, there's our 4.5, but that's only at 4.3. So this is going to be about 4.3 as well. There's the 4.5. Here it comes. So the pressure doesn't drop during the craft. Wow. 
That took some doing, I can tell you. Let's see, three of those there with that there. Pretty pipes all the way along the top down the side. No, not that one. Got the engine there and then these three here. So we've got one more to go and that's the laser. I have to make the energising rod. I've got all the rest of it, but I need to make the energising rod. So it'll take a bit to make these. Uh-huh. Right, okay. Oh, four for two. Well, that's not too bad. These might be a pain. I've got to make some more etching acid because this fluid tank here needs, or a bucket, needs etching acid in it. So I need to do these. So I need to make some more plastic. Oh, pick that up. And that took some making, I can tell you. And that should be the last piece for the assembly. Ta-da! So let's have a look at our quest rewards. Uh, we had to unlock refined storage uh, because we were, we made quartz enriched iron. So we've got oh, legendary. Legendary is. Um, what did we get? Legendary. Maybe those? I uh, don't know what was in my inventory before then. I can't see what we got. Uh, <laughs> and then this one is another legendary. Right, so we got some puzzle pieces. Ooh, nice, a drone. Uh, no idea what... Oh, yeah. Used for writing programs. Yeah, I knew that. I didn't really, but I do know. That's nice. Might come in useful later. Right, so the way that we're going to do this is we're going to put the storage here under this tree, because, well, why not? Um... We're going to put our import and export um, adjacent to this chest, like so. And we're going to put our assembly controller here. And it's this that we will connect up to the pressure pipes. thought they disconnected for a minute. In the middle here, you want your assembly table and then assembly drill and laser adjacent to the assembly platform and then the program that we've got is the drill and laser now you can see here it is between three and a half and five bars so let's connect up the pressure see there it connects to the um, controller And once we have the required pressure, it will basically turn on. Now this thing's clever, so it's, it'll know as soon as you put the right things in there, it will pick them up, put them on here, and depending on what it is, it will carry out the craft. Now all I've got to do is remember why we were making this in the first place. I know there are a lot of, lot of things that we need that needed this. 
think it was initially to do with centrifuge, the multi-block centrifuges in that these machine frame here needed it so we need a rough machine frame which we've already made the machine base which is the advanced pcb the coated machine frame it needs a rough machine frame which needs two machine frames in here so let's go and make those two machine frames so if we put in here two, hopefully this redstone's not going to affect it. So the input arm will pick the items up, put them on the assembly platform. It's all very cool this. And then in this case our drill comes along first and we'll drill them. Okay, it doesn't need the laser this one. So then our output arm comes along, picks them up, and we'll place them back in the chest. All very cool stuff. And there we have our rush rough machine frame top so we need to do this in a, a thermo pneumatic oh look at the pressure oh what <laughs> we're not going to get that we are not going to get 1600 degrees